one of the most frustrating things that I've seen is for a woman to be married to a man who has no vision. It can create great marital problems. Are you a father? Do you have a father? Or are you expecting to be a father? What does it mean to be a father? This message will show you what fatherhood means and what it takes to be one. Sometimes you have to speak on behalf of your wife because there are certain things she hasn't got the courage to say. You, the man, have to step out and say, she's not saying it. I am saying it. Put it for this. You can order this message through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting, order what it means to be a father at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing a stimulating teaching on the subject of faith under the subtitle, Steps of Faith. Yesterday, he explained that one way to activate our faith is by mental preparation. Today, he speaks about two more levels of preparation, spiritual and physical. Let's join in. Number two, preparation has to be spiritual. When Jesus started his ministry, in Luke 3.22, the Bible says, The Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. There came a voice from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. After that incident, he didn't just go home. He knew, although there has been a prophecy, there is a time of preparation. Spiritual preparation. Luke 4, 1 says, Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from the Jordan, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. In those days, he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Preparation. He moved into fasting. He moved into prayer. Preparation is not only just mental. It's also spiritual. I was preparing intensively even before I started preaching. In those days, nobody invited me to preach anywhere. I didn't go anywhere. So I had time on my hands. And the Holy Ghost told me, the time on your hands is a time of preparation. When you have time of your, on your hands, it's time for what? Preparation. Whatever you are, a businessman, a father, a mother, you want to get married, you need spiritual preparation. And that preparation is an act of faith. You demonstrate to God that you mean, you believe what you say you believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three, physical preparation. This is the point where the things that you need, the resources that you need, you start putting them together. And this is where you begin to work as you should work. Preparation. You know, everything requires effort. And until you put in the effort, you won't get the result. Can you imagine how hard Noah had to work to make this boat? That boat was about 100,000 square meters, approximately. A football field is about approximately 7,500 square meters. The length is 100 meters, maximum 110. The breadth is minimum 55 or 75. But let's say 175, 75,000. But his was about 100,000 square meters. I don't know how long it was, but that's the area. Can you imagine how hard and how long you must work to build this ark? You want to be something, but you don't want to put in the effort. If you don't work hard, you can't do it. Put aside all the prayer or the whatever. You still will have to put in the physical work. So people dream of many nice things. Dream of, a, I believe that my marriage will be very nice. You must put in the effort to learn how to cook well. It's effort. Oh, 
me. I know that is when I get married, my husband will love me. When you, are, when you are making love to your husband, you must put in the effort so that that love will come. Effort. You are lying down like Odum, Odum Wood. Some people think that faith is just a license to do nothing. But read the scriptures. After the word came, you think about it. Even to go and cut those lions. It's worth it. So as I close this morning, I want you to say whatever you have seen can come to pass. But if you are lazy, Faith without works is dead. Put your hands together, stand to your feet. Up. Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that for our faith to yield results, we need to prepare spiritually and still put in the physical effort required. Join us next week for another edition of EPA with Kakra Baden. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you about some strange things one of my church members was experiencing. Evil spirits constantly harassed him. You replied that you had prayed for him. To the glory of God, it has stopped since your reply and she now lives a normal life. We give God the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.